Hi there, my name is Cunningberg and welcome to my channel. This is a game review of Phantasmagoria, an adventure horror FMV game. Uh, the developer is Sierra, the publisher is Activision, it came out in 1995. It's got very positive reviews and it's currently for £7.99 on Steam. It's got single player and it's for Windows XP all the way up to Windows 10. Uh, Massive storyteller Roberta Williams challenges you to experience the ultimate interactive nightmare. So I have played the full game. Um, I do recommend the game. Uh, I've never played an FMV game in my entire life, but I watched somebody play the second one, so I thought I'll have a go at the first one. So I did. Um, so obviously, you, you, well, not obviously, but you start off and you, you you're waking up in this. Apparently, you just bought it. This this mansion is is pretty well decked out with all the um, all the furniture inside. Um, and so you're moving around, it's, it's like a typical kind of point and click game where you have to collect loads of things. But you don't have to ask loads of questions, there's no one to really ask. Um, but you collect some things into your bottomless pocket and manoeuvre around. And every time you finish something, you obviously think you have to go and collect something more and speak to some of the townsfolk and stuff like that. So Adrian's there with her, her husband, uh, Todd. Don, sorry. And... Um, yeah, yeah, it, it, it's, it's there is a story. I can't really tell, give the game away too much, but um, uh, Adrian is the main star. Uh, there's other ple people as well. You'll you'll see. Um, uh, it becomes her, not maid, but you know, like a helper around the house and something like that, and the son, um, and a couple of other characters as well. So it's not just them two. Um, and what I like about it, because like I said, I've never played an FMV game before, is where she'll do some interaction with something, and then she'll just stop and stand in a certain position, and then it cuts to like back screen, so we can start to move. And then when she moves, she's moving in a in a way you can't stop her. So I think that was kind of cool. Um, there were certain bits I just could not get at certain parts, but then I got it. Uh, the <sighs> my issues with the game. Um, nothing really as such except for the ending. Uh, the 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 things I will say is on the bottom of your screen you got this little school guy. Uh, that's your hint button. It's quite useful. And on the right is this eye. So if ever you pick something up, just click on it, the eye, and it'll show you what it is. It's quite useful. Um, the ending I'm not going to give the game away, but basically without not giving the game away when you start six, uh, chapter 7 don't go into the dark room the, the room that Don's been dicking about with don't go in there uh, go and do some other stuff have a look for everything else that you can find I'm not going to tell you what it is I mean you can have a look but uh, you can watch my video and you'll see but basically find everything and anything anywhere else and then go to the dark room because once you're in there uh, well, what you have to do is there's uh, in the um, uh, main menu of the game there is the um, you know the how to play the game. It's called about. So you click on there, it tells you how to play the game. You know what, you know how to save and stuff like that, which doesn't really do much. But in there, the halfway down or something, it talks about chapter seven. So read that, and you'll see that it's all about a movie. Once you're in the dark room, the movie starts, as it were, and that's about it. And if you haven't got all the items like I did the first time, God or oh, bloody mighty, I was not in a good place. Um, so, like I said, when you get to chapter 7 and you finish packing your bag of something, just go anywhere else but that room that Don's been in. Um, you know, just don't bother going in there. Well, not, not straight away. Do I have to? The, the the other thing, if you do go in there and you cock it up and you think, how the hell do I get out of here? How do I restart this bit? You have to restart the game. So you have to start a new character, new, new person. Uh, but you can then select Chapter Seven. So you then can go straight to Chapter Seven, go through the cutscene, and then start off. So it's it's a kind of a bit of a cop out, but it's the only way that I ended up having to do it. 
anyway uh, please subscribe to my channel if you um, if you want to give me your thumbs up if you like this video and leave a comment in the comments box below if you played this game did you like it did you have the same issue that I had on chapter 7 um, and you can watch the full playlist if you want to I've, I've linked it here in the video okay thank you and goodbye